Welcome to this PowerPoint presentation about the two-year Recreation Leadership Diploma Program here at Langara College in Vancouver, BC, Canada. In the first term of the program, students take five college-level courses, which are three credits each. In addition, you may take the program on a part-time basis if you wish, and some students bring in transfer credits from other college universities from British Columbia and or Canada. Many of our courses offered in the program are classroom based here at our college. You have a lot of questions about people wanting to take the courses online and at the present time this is not possible. Even though our courses are based in our classroom, we do offer some portions of the course to the students in an online format. In addition to our classroom uh, based sessions, we also uh, try and get as much practical experience for the students. And so you notice on this screen we are in the gymnasium at Langara College doing a cooperative game session during one of our first term leadership courses. One of our highlights for first term is the uh, five day outdoor field school as operated by Outward Bound Canada. Uh, here in this picture the students are having a practice hike around the college to break in some of the new hiking boots which they bought prior to the field school. The students gather in a uh, traditional circle formation for Outward Bound. This allows the leaders to uh, communicate with the entire group in an efficient and effective manner. The five day Outward Bound experience is designed to help the students learn about leadership and also themselves in an outdoor setting. We can try and use the outdoors as a learning lab for this particular experience. On days two, three and four of their Outward Bound experience, the student group is broken up into various patrols. They are then assigned a part of the uh, region to uh, hike and camp in for the next three days. On the fifth day of their uh, field school experience, the students uh, will reconvene and do a number of wrap-up activities, including this climbing experience. As the students progress in their first term of studies, they will again work on their group gym activities in their first term leadership course. These activities prove very valuable to our students when they graduate to work in the recreation field. They need lots of practice and skill in working with groups and individuals. As mentioned previously, again, we feel strongly that uh, going out to the field as well as doing their theory is important for the students. So here's a chance where they go to Abbotsford for a full day field trip to apply many of the theories that they've uh, learned so far in the term. One of our stops for this uh, full day trip is to a commercial fitness facility. Got to have time for lunch, so we stop the bus and give the students a few minutes to eat and socialize at the same time. On the last uh, stop for the field trip, the students have a chance to watch the Abbotsford Parks Recreation and Culture Commission in action so they can see how a formal meeting in the field of recreation uh, takes place. Our last field trip for the first term takes place at the Trout Lake Community Centre and we spend a couple hours out in the park area to show the students what it takes to uh, operate and maintain a complex park system in the Vancouver area. Each year we take the time to gather the students together for their annual class photo. And of course, as any student who's taken a college level course remembers, there are Christmas exams to wrap up the uh, term. In term two of the program, students responsible for taking six college level courses of three credits each. And again, you can take these on a part-time basis depending on your uh, needs and wants. During one of our courses, we invite our grads back uh, to share some of their stories and experiences with the first year students about what it's like to be a recreation student and then what are the potential uh, for the field later on after they graduate. As in first term, we try and uh, have the students do a number of field trips to selected recreation facilities and one of our field trips for the term is to Mount Seymour in North Vancouver. During our field trip to Mount Seymour, we tour all the various departments at the mountain and one of our stops uh, is to the snowboard and ski rental shop where we learn how to handle all the various clients who uh, want to rent equipment at the resort. One of the more popular uh, field trips for the term is to Rogers Arena where we get a chance to uh, visit the facility and see how it operates. As part of this field trip, the students get to ice level to watch the two Olympias in operation. Another field trip for the term is to the Shaughnessy Golf and Country Club in Vancouver 
and uh, they get a chance to see the entire operation of the club and you notice in the slide that they all get it dressed up which is nice to see to respect the dress code at the club. One of the stops at this field trip is to the greenhouse of Deshaunessy Golf and Country Club so the students can understand what it takes to provide all the beautiful plants which are uh, spread around the uh, club itself. An important aspect of operating recreation facilities is the custodial aspect and here the students uh, go to Queen's Park Arena in New Westminster for a two hour lecture on the topic and are then broken into teams for the uh, annual student custodial competition. Here's a group of students who are uh, happy and showing off their nice clean dress room as part of the uh, student custodial competition. In one of their courses the students have a chance to put together a personal portfolio of their recreation accomplishments to this point in the field. It's very useful later on when they want to uh, demonstrate to employers in the field uh, what they have done and what their skills are uh, as they're getting hired for various jobs. Here is another photo of the students working hard in their portfolio. Notice that some students put together an electronic portfolio. In their program planning course in second term, the students have to go out into the community, find a facility, find a group, and then run a special event for that uh, group. Over the years, we've held many, many special events in the community, and there's some great learning outcomes for the students as they work through the project. At the end of term two, the students have a chance to take a summer break from the college. Some, however, do come back and do either English or communication, business, or their elective courses in the program, but we do not offer any recreation courses during the summer term. Students come back in September, and many of them start their term three program, where again, they've got to take six college level courses, or they can do it on a part-time basis. It's one of their open activities in third term. The students have a bit of fun with a sidewalk chalk exercise. In the third term of the program, the students are starting to take some of their upper level uh, courses and here they are working on practicing teamwork in a decision making exercise. In third term, the students also use the Langara Gymnasium again as a leadership lab. One of the fun projects in third term is contributing to the classroom tile project which has been ongoing for a number of years and provides a uh, a learning about uh, community arts projects. Here we see the new addition to the tile wall for this year all completed. As part of their arts and heritage course in third term the students have a chance to explore the benefits of uh, arts and heritage for various communities. Also in second year we have the grads come back to uh, chat with the uh, second year students about the potential for the field and also their upcoming internships. In preparation for their fourth term full-time internship, we also have agencies come in to visit with the second years and uh, promote the fact that their agency perhaps would like to take an internship student uh, in the field. During a number of our third term courses, we invite a variety of guest speakers to visit the classroom. Having these guest speakers visit the classroom allows the students to uh, gain some nice additional information in their various courses. In their third term, we try and have the second year students participate in a number of field trips. This particular one is to Science World in Vancouver. On this field trip, the students get all dressed up and visit the Vancouver Rowing Club to understand how a private club operates. Each year, we take the time to gather the students together for their annual class photo. For the Recreation Leadership Diploma Program, we have a nice scholarship program set up and we have individuals, groups and uh, companies donate money to Langara College to provide scholarships for our students. This picture shows our November fall scholarship presentation to deserving students in the program. In the fourth term of the program, the students now head off the campus and take uh, part in their 14-week full-time internship in the recreation field. Over the 14 weeks, the students work at a wide variety of agencies in the Lower Mainland which are recreation and sport based. The students had a chance to choose their internship with faculty guidance and approval. Internships can be very valuable to the students to help them apply the material they've learned in their various courses to work in the field. During their internships, the students are provided with an internship manual which helps guide them look for information at their host agency. When choosing their internship, some students try and uh, work with an age group they're familiar with, where other students go outside of their comfort zone to find an age group they've never worked with before. Around the midterm point of their uh, internship, the students return to Langara College to present some of their uh, activities over the last few weeks to their fellow classmates and faculty. During this internship midterm seminar, we in the afternoon, we try and provide some activities for the students to participate in. 
During the last week of their internship term, the students return again to Langara College to do some wrap-up activities. As one of their wrap-up activities for the term, the students participate in a camp day at a local facility. This camp day allows the students to have a relaxed way to wrap up their two years in the program and uh, socialize for one of the last times perhaps as a cohort. The formal way to wrap up the internship term is to host our annual internship luncheon and spring scholarship presentation at Langara College. Each year the students come up with a unique way to uh, celebrate their wrap up of their internship term and here we see uh, Department Chair Janet Reddy cutting the official cake to hand out to all the various people who attended the uh, luncheon. After a lot of hard work in the program, graduation day at the college is always a way for the students to celebrate with family and friends their accomplishments in the diploma program. After their completion of the diploma program, the students can work in the field or also have a chance to register in the online Bachelor of Recreation Management degree program here at Lane Garrett College. Thank you for taking the time to watch our presentation on the Recreation Leadership Diploma program. If you'd like further information, please visit one of our two websites.